Hello everyone out there on the internet, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center. You can find us online at alamomusic.com and here in San Antonio, Texas. Today we are answering a question that I get a lot, and that is, does a cutaway on an acoustic guitar affect its tone? And the answer is yes, but is it enough to matter? So to answer this question and to give you a uh, comparison, I've gotten two of the guitars that I think are the most closely made as far as being close identical guitars that we have. And uh, that is a Taylor 114E and a Taylor 114CE. These are the new 2017 models and we've done full reviews on these guitars so if you'd like to see that uh, take a look at our uh, YouTube page and we'll try to add a link down below in the description. But basically these are about as close to identical as you can possibly get. They're built by the same manufacturer in the same factory with the same materials. Now wood is always going to have some variance but outside of that this is as close as it gets to a straight out comparison. Um, in this particular case we've also isolated the top uh, because the back and sides on this are laminate and then of course the cavity of the guitar because generally in this conversation this is where the question really comes up and so I'm going to attempt to discuss for you what we're looking at why does it change the tone how much does it uh, change the tone and kind of the effects on the guitar body so obviously we know what a full-size guitar or, or I guess not full size, but uh, full bodied guitar is what I'll call it, looks like. It looks like this, there's no cutaway. So what we're gonna focus on for now is this guy. We're gonna focus on this guy for now. So this is the 114 CE cutaway. And a cutaway is basically what it sounds like. We have cut away a portion of material on the guitar in order to allow more access up the neck. By cutting it away here at the 14th fret where the neck joins the body, um, we can then get the palm of our hand further up on the neck, whereas before it would kind of stop right there. And that gives you easier fretting access all the way up to about the 20th fret. So that's the benefit of a cutaway. Now what it does to the structure of the guitar is it's going to change the resonating chamber in the guitar by shortening one corner of it and it's going to change the top. Now how much and to what degree and can you hear it is the question and you know in my opinion yes you can hear it but the changes are so subtle that the benefit of a cutaway often outweighs any difference in tone that you're going to have. We'll play these a little bit and you can determine for yourself. But here's what's going on. So when we take the top portion here, let, let's kind of first talk about what's going on with the guitar top. We're plucking a string and that string is anchored down here at the bridge. From that point, it has a fulcrum point over this saddle and from the tension on the bridge and its point resonating on the saddle, it is vibrating the top of the guitar. That top is going to vibrate, okay, and create a uh, sound waves that come out of the sound hole from a resonance chamber in this guitar. Now that size of that chamber is important. That's why guitars with deeper bodies or larger to lower bouts or just bigger bodies in general are going to have more bass because there's more resonance. Smaller bodied guitars are going to have less bass because there's less resonance. Same thing when you go to a thinner body. It could be this size but thinner. It's going to sound a little thinner from a tone standpoint because we have less resonating space. Also, as we've talked about with a smaller top, you have uh, a faster action because the top's moving. So basically, we just want to understand that the space inside the guitar matters and the movement of the top is where we're getting our sound from. Now most of it comes from this pear shape here, okay? The, the sound hole obviously isn't giving us any sound because there's no top there. And the, the portion up here on either side of the fretboard is going to be restricted by the fretboard itself, the bracing that's up here to support the stresses of the neck and the fretboard on the guitar, and the fact that there's just not a whole lot of space. So if you think about it, most of the sounds kind of coming from this kind of pear shape right here, or really from the waist of the guitar down. This area of the top is where we get most of our tone. 
Now that being said, that, that doesn't mean that this part of the top's not in on the action. It is insofar as it affects the flexibility and resonance of this part of the top. So when we cut away the top of the guitar here, and I know this is getting geeky, but follow me out here, okay? We are changing the resonant frequencies based upon the stresses of the top, okay? So when we cut this away, we lose all of that portion. This, this is where the side is, so the top just can't move very much right there. It's like taking a, a, a drum head and stretching it over tightly on a drum. The more you tighten it down, the higher the pitch is going to be because that drum head moves a little bit less. And that's what's going on here. Because there's just not as much space, we aren't as far away from the side here, on this side as we are here, it can't move that much. And it has a kind of a, a, a ramifications resonating through this side because that means this part's stiffer here, which means it's a little stiffer here, and so forth. Hopefully that makes sense. The other side of it is that we're missing a whole corner of this resonating chamber. So the sides or the sound bouncing around inside the guitar is going to be affected by the fact that you have this part up here, but not here for the sound to resonate in. And all of that equates to slightly less low end and maybe an impact on the mid range but slightly, and I mean very slightly. And so the question becomes, does the benefit outweigh any change? Generally, I would say yes. I play up here quite a lot, and so I like to have a cutaway. Every single one of my acoustic guitars, with two exceptions, has a cutaway, and I use it often. If you don't use the cutaway, then maybe you don't need the cutaway. Maybe you like it because it's aesthetically pleasing. Is that enough? If the guitar sounds good, the guitar sounds good. But if you do want to know, does it matter? Yeah, it kind of matters. It kind of does change things, but not to a great extent. So to prove that, we're going to play these two guitars back to back for you so that you can hear the differences between them. This one with a cutaway, this one without a cutaway. Now, you're probably watching on a phone or laptop or something, so you probably want to put headphones on to see if you can hear any difference at all. And comment, do you hear a difference? If so, do you think the d difference is dramatic? And would it maybe change your opinion of buying a cutaway guitar and sacrificing that additional uh, access in order to get that slight difference that you're hearing? That's the question. So let's listen to them and see what you think. So what do you think? Could you hear a difference? If you did, where did you hear it? Was it in the low, the low mid, the mid, the high mid, the high? Was it in the resonance or the volume? Or could you not really hear a difference at all? Comment below and let us know what you think. Uh, personally, I hear a difference. Um, I'm not going to tell you necessarily where, and it's kind of slight, but I do hear a little bit. 
Would it change which one I would buy? For me, probably not. Would it change which one you would buy? Let us know. If you have any questions about this or you'd like to chat more about it or if you want to see any other reviews like that, let us know. We are here to serve you. Our whole purpose is to put these videos out so that you are a better informed buyer and so that we can help you find the perfect guitar to fulfill your musical needs and help you discover music in your life. So as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.